It's my pleasure to introduce the 2020 Ruth and Ken Altshuler Callier Care Award recipients, Barbara and John Stewart. Many of us have known Barbara and John personally over the years or through one of the ways they involved themselves in making this community stronger. For Barbara, that includes things like chairing Crystal Charity Ball and the Senior Sources Spirit of Generations Luncheon, among other organizations and events. We first met 18 years ago at Children's Health, where I'm proud to say that Barbara continues to serve on the Children's Medical Center Foundation Executive Committee, and she keeps me in line. For Eagle Scout John, serving the community has included many leadership roles with the Circle 10 Council of the Boy Scouts, plus two terms chairing the Cotton Bowl Athletic Association Council. We've gathered several times right before New Year's when he's hosted one of the Cotton Bowl teams on a pregame visit to the kids at Children's Medical Center Dallas. But it's a good thing that the Callier Center is part of UT Dallas and the UT system, because when you talk about Barbara and John Stewart, you have to talk about the University of Texas. Both of them have had such long and deep connections with the system and with UT Austin in particular. They could meet a complete stranger on the street, strike up a conversation, and in five seconds, that person would know full well that Barbara and John both bleed burnt orange. And President Benson, along with the Hookums, I'm sure they give an occasional whoosh to. Among their numerous UT awards and roles, Barbara was the first female president of the Dallas Texas Exes, and John chaired the Chancellor's Council for the UT system. Most importantly, however, they've demonstrated their love for the Callier Center and support for patients dealing with communications disorders. John has served as a trustee and president of the Foundation for the Callier Center, and Barbara generously chaired this luncheon in 2013, along with being an honorary chairman this year. You can't have better community ambassadors in your corner than Barbara and John. And now, Dr. Angela Shoup will present the 2020 Ruth and Ken Altshuler Callier Care Award to Barbara and John Stewart. Thank you, Brent. I would like to echo Brent's sentiment and acknowledge Ruth and Ken Altshuler's memory and distinguished legacy. The Callier Center will be forever grateful for this benevolent couple and their generous spirit will live on through the countless lives that have been and will be transformed because of their advocacy and philanthropy. Barbara and John, thank you for your support of the Callier Center, UT Dallas, the UT system, and the North Texas community. On behalf of the Callier Center, we are deeply grateful to you and honored to present you with the 2020 Ruth and Ken Altshuler Callier Care Award. Thank you, Dr. Shoup. It's a real and humbling honor to receive this award. Ruth and Ken Altshuler were a quiet but strong influence on our quality of life and will be for a, probably forever. It's a small world. More than 50 years ago, three founders of Texas Instruments, Eugene McDermott, Cecil Green, and the former mayor, Eric Johnson, established a graduate engineering school on the barren plains of North Richardson called the Graduate Research Center of the Southwest. In 1969, the 61st Texas Legislative Session passed House Bill 303, which established the University of Texas at Dallas. Governor Preston Smith signed the bill making UT Dallas an official member of the University of Texas system. The inspiration of the Callier Center began through a trust established by Lena Callier in 1950 to alleviate the effects of hearing loss as well as speech and language disorders. In 1963, Mayor Eric Johnson, along with his executive assistant, Nell Johnson, no relation, and along with the founding director, Aaron Lurie, established the use of the Callier Trust and incorporate Callier Center as a nonprofit. In 1975, through a transfer agreement between the board of the Callier Center and the University of Texas System, Callier became a component of the University of Texas at Dallas, which is now a tier one educational institution. The foundation, the Callier Center, became a separate 501c3, which supports Callier. The result is that land is owned and sold off and the funds provide financial support to the Callier Center, which continues to transform the lives of those with 
communication disorders on the two campuses through treatment, education, research, and support. At last, appraisal, the endowment which holds the land, is worth more than $39 million. Friends Helping Friends with a Vision, Ruth, Ken, Mayor Johnson, Nell Johnson, and the University of Texas System. It doesn't get much better than that.